Now we are finally ready to start with our actual coding. So let's move into IntelliJ. Here we are in IntelliJ. So let's go back to our reminder comments and fold them in. Now the project has been generated from the Maven archetype. The JAXP2 Maven plugin has run and it has created the Java classes from the insurance service.xsd in the source main resources directory. So here we will add our init param element for transform whistle locations. When the transform whistle locations in initparam is set to true in this servlets configuration, all location attributes in the whistle definition will reflect the URL of the incoming request. Next, we open the Spring WS servlet.xml. I will add the component scan context base package element. This component scan element is, as the name implies, for component scanning. By default, it scans for all beans with the add component annotation or sub annotations like add controller, add service. It will only register instances of those classes in the application context as beans. Next, we will add the dynamic whistle element. Now notice that we are using a webinf xsd subdirectory for the location of our xsd file and not the source main resources because we want to be able to serve this file in a web app which means we have to move our xsd file to the new location and we have to update our jaxp2 maven plugin in the pom.xml with the new location. Now we will create that new location. We will move the insurance service.xsd. Then we will update our pom.xml with the new location. Now let's run Maven Clean Package to see if our Java classes are being generated. It says build success. And there is one of our Java generator classes, the applicant type. Now Let's run the Maven Tomcat plugin and see if our whistle is automatically being generated by Spring Web Services. It says starting the protocol handling and it says it's running the war on this location. So here it says the page isn't working as expected because at this stage we don't have any implemented SOAP endpoints, but can we see the generated whistle? And there we have it. We ran the Tomcat Maven plugin and we now have Spring Web Services actually generate a full whistle file for us. So at this stage we have not yet implemented our SOAP endpoint but what we now do have is Spring Web Services auto-magically generating our whistle file from the insurance service.xsd file. Now, in the next video, we will implement our SOAP endpoint class 
and to go along with that, of course, our insurance service class. See you in the next video.